If your business is on Facebook or Instagram, you need a Facebook Business Manager account. With a Business Manager account, you have access to different things that will help make business easier for you on Facebook or Instagram. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook Business Manager account and how to verify your Facebook Business Manager account. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Ayo and on this channel, I share practical marketing and sales tips that will help you make more sales and retain customers. And also share with you business resources that will help you with business growth. If this sounds like something good to you, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because every Friday I drop new videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. It's always an honor to have you here. Please help me like this video so that YouTube will show it to more people. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is to go to this website called business.facebook.com slash create don't worry i'm going to leave the link to this website in the description of this video so check that out so next you want to do is to come here and click on create account now facebook will ask you for a couple of information about the account you can see your business and account name, your name and your business email. This is where you type in your business name. So you are going to type in your email address. Please make sure the address you use is related to the business and it's very, very active. Please take note of that. So after we have done, we'll click on submit. Your business account has been created. So the next thing you want to do is to head over to your email address and confirm your account. Go to your Gmail, go under socials. You see the email address Facebook sent to you. Click on it. And click confirm now. After confirming your business email, this is where you'll be redirected to. So if you come here and click on this arrow pointing down, you're going, you're to, going see to see the, the number, number of business, business manager, manager accounts account you have. You have. Currently, Currently, I have, I have three, three business, business accounts. accounts. I've been I've permitted, been permitted to, have to have up to three business, business accounts. accounts. But if you're but starting out, you can only have two business, business accounts. Account. As, As you, you continue, continue to spend money, money in your business, business you will be given, be given access, access to more business, business accounts. Account. You can you even have up to four business, business accounts. Account. So don't so worry, you're starting with only two. So you are going to do the business settings. You are going to set up your business accounts. The first session is users. Under users, you have people, partners, and system users. Under people, this is where you add people to your account. You add people to manage your account. So I'll click on add. Invite people. Ask people to join your business by entering their email address. Then assign their access and which accounts and tools they can use. For example, let's say I want to add Peter Ayo 55 and gmail.com. Assign business rule. Pay attention to this. You can either assign people as employees. That means they have access to only what you want them to have access to. Maybe they are social media managers, you can give them access to your page alone. But if you click on admin access, that means they have power over your business account. That means they can delete your card details, they can add new card details, they can create new ad accounts, they can do so many things with your account. So you need to be very mindful of what you grant them access to. So let's say I want to give Peter A your 
and Mina says I'll just come here, then click on next. So when you click on next, the next thing is assign assets. These are the list of assets you can give them access to. So as you can see, pages, ad accounts, catalogs, apps, pixels, Instagram accounts. Since this is a new account, these things do not exist. I'm going to create all these one by one. So what you want to do is to subscribe for subsequent videos that are coming up in this series. So when you select whatever you want to give them access to, you want to give them access to all of them, select all and then click on invite. Peter A of 55 at gmail.com has been sent an invitation to join at Frame as an admin. So just click on done. If you want to add more people, you can click on add more people and repeat the same process. The next thing is partners. Let's say you want to partner with different businesses within your niche. So you can come here and it's just the same thing. So come here, click on add. You will ask for your partner business ID. This business ID means your business manager's ID. Don't worry, I'm going to show you where to get this ID. So you just type in here, then click on next. It's almost the same thing, just like the other one. You just need to get their ID and include it there. System users. This one is really, really advanced. So I won't even advise you to come here. Just forget about that. Let's go to the next session, which is account. Now pages. On the account, we have pages. Atlee Frames does not have any pages yet. So you, go, you can click on add. Now you have three options here. You have three options here. Is it that you add a page? request access to a page or create new page add a page this means you already have this page created so what you just need to do is to click on this add a page put the name of that page for example let me put my personal brand page which is peter ao as you can see just select it and then add page once I click on add page, the page will reflect on this business account, but I won't do that. The next one is request access to a page. Let's say you are collaborating with another business owner. You can request access to their Facebook page. You just click on request access. Add a page you own to bring it into business manager. So you can come here, click on add page. It's almost the same thing. Type in your Facebook page or URL. It's almost the same thing. So I'll just click on cancel. So the last option is create new page. So with this option, you can create a page from scratch. I created a detailed video showing you how to create a Facebook business page. You need to see that video because it is very, very important, especially if you want to create a Facebook business page that ranks on Facebook whenever your product or service is being searched for. So look for the video with this thumbnail, go and watch it. I'll also leave the link to the video in the description of this video. So make sure you check that video out. So I'll click a cancel, just go and watch that video. So the next session is add accounts. For you to be able to run Facebook ads, you need an ad account. So just come here, add. It's almost the same thing. Add an ad account, request access to an ad account, create a new ad account. This can be very, very complicated. So don't worry, I'm going to create a new video, a separate video explaining how to create an ad account showing you the different options you can use and how to get access to cards that are not limited so don't worry just subscribe to the youtube channel and when the video is up you get notified so the next thing is business assets groups don't worry as you are starting i don't really need that apps if you have apps this is where you add your apps just come here 
add your apps, connect an app ID, request access to an app ID, create a new app ID. See, it's almost the same thing. Just come here, click on connect app ID, connect, add the app ID, and then add app. It's the same thing is very simple. So Instagram account. When you start running ads and you intend running ads on Instagram also, you need to have an Instagram account. So you just come here, add your Instagram account. Click on connect Instagram account. So just come here, type, type in your, your Instagram, Instagram username. And also and type, type in your, your password. password. Then, then click, click on login, login and you'll be, be connected, connected to your, to your Instagram. Instagram. Is that, is that simple? On that WhatsApp account, come here, add your WhatsApp number, select your country code to anywhere you are, add your number, then connect. Facebook is going to send you a code. Just add the code and then continue. So the next section is data sources. Under data sources, we have catalogs, we have puzzles, we have off offline event sets, custom conversions, event source groups, shared audiences, business creative folders. I'm also going to show you how to create data sources, especially your Facebook pixels and your custom conversions. It's going to be a separate video. So like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that whenever this video is posted, you get notified. So subscribe to the channel. Now let's go to brand safety. Under brand safety, we have something called domains. If you have a business website, this is where you add your domains. Let's say pizza ayo dot com then click on add and your domain will be added now you have to verify your business domain you have to verify your business domain i'm also going to create a separate video entirely on how to verify your business domain Another thing I want you to understand is to make sure each of your business manager accounts comes with only one domain. Make sure you keep one business account to one domain. There are so many reasons for that, which I'm going to explain in that video when I drop the video. So registrations, all these are not really necessary. Integrations, third party assets, third party apps. Don't worry about that if you are starting out. Payment methods. Now you can add payment method. You can either choose a debit or a credit card, or you can choose an online banking app or an online banking method don't worry about this like i said i'm going to create a separate video and show you different ways you can navigate the payment system on facebook so don't worry about that nothing is the security center make sure you turn on your two authentication factor turn it on I've already turned you on, so just come here and means away. You can also review people assets. The next one is requests. Remember, when we were trying to give people access to a business manager, we needed to send a request for them to accept that access. Now, if someone sends you a request, this is where it will appear. So just come under requests, under settings, under request, and you see the request. You can choose to accept it. You can choose to reject it. Notification is just 
choose where you want to be notified is it your email is it your number is it your email whatever you want to do you can turn it off you can turn it on wherever you want to be notified marketing update partner programs whatever you want just is either you turn it off or turn it on Before, Before we get, we get into, into business, business information, information. Remember, remember I told you, you I'm going, I'm to, going show to show you where you can, you can get, get your business name and manager ID. ID. So under, so under business, business info, info you see, you see the business, business manager, manager ID. ID. It's, it's a long, long number. number. Anytime, Anytime you need, you need it for for anything, anything, just, just come, here come here and, and copy it. it. That business details, legal name of the business, your address, your business phone number, your website. If you have tax ID, please include it. Business verification status. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, as you can see, other account creation limit is one. Like I said when we started this video, you are going to be limited for a while. So, when once you start spending money, you are going to have access to multiple ad accounts. Business options, two factor authentication. Uh -huh. This one is turned on. Make sure you turn it on is very very important your info your name peter ayo your email put in your email pages and notification if you want to be notified turn this on if you don't want to be notified turn it off so that's it guys that is it if you watch this video to this point a lot of videos will be coming up on this channel so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that every friday when i drop new video you get notified.